Uh, Mike here, and I am with the incredibly talented Dirk Manning. Dirk, how's free comic book? <laughs> is there someone behind yeah, me? Where, where's the, I, I, where's where's this the other Dirk you speak of? Where's this other Dirk Manning you speak of? Is he like a real estate broker somewhere? Or? Uh, Dirk, how has free comic book day been treating you so far? Oh, man, this has been a great show. Um, you know, this is, I think, my third, third appearance at free comic book day with Pack Rat. Love this story. It's an absolutely fantastic story. Oh, yeah, free, love free comic book day here is just a blast. I mean, they got, have you guys shown it out there? They got bouncy houses out there, petting zoos, just all kinds of crazy stuff. And the fan, you know, the readers, everybody comes by, all my friends, it's I got wonderful. Kicked, I got kicked out of both the petting zoo and the bouncy house. So. I'm not going to ask how you got kicked out of the petting zoo. Ironically, they were both at the same time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been eyeballing that bouncy house. It is a nice bouncy I've been eyeballing that, I'm like, man. I've decided one day I'm gonna have like a Dirk con, and the bouncy house is only gonna be for adults. But that might ruin my like horror spooky image, but still. Like, I am buying, I wanna be first in line to buy the weekend pass the weekend to that, that con right. right there. You heard it here first. Speaking of awesome things, uh, you're here uh, showing off your work. Yes, sir. The nightmare work. Can you tell uh, our fans a little bit about your book? Sure. Um, for people that are familiar with Nightmare World, um, Volume 1 actually recently just sold out of its first print run. So uh, I do have a copy of Volume 1 just to show people. See, now you can hear me and you don't have to look at me. But uh, I'm here with copies of Volumes 2 and 3. Um, Nightmare World is a graphic novel series from Image Comics Shadowline. There's 13 stories in each book. Every story is written by me, drawn by a different artist to art team. Kind of a Twilight Zone, EC Comics vibe. Mm -hmm. And what's cool is the 13 stories in each book are totally standalone. Each one's a different genre of horror. But as you read the 13 stories in each book together and read the trilogy together, it all weaves into one giant story. Kind of like a, an, uh, an anthology. Yeah, yeah. It, and I tell people, read it first and foremost as an anthology of just standalone stories. Mm -hmm. But eventually, all these genre-hopping horror stories weave into one giant story about uh, Lucifer awakening Cthulhu to kickstart the Armageddon. Yeah, right. And all sorts of uh, happy themes like that. Now, these actually started off uh, online first, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, we actually started as an online comic uh, back in the Stone Age of 2002 Ooh. with dial up modems and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the pages would load like this. <laughs> I think we both just showed our age because there's going to be kids watching this going, what's dial-up? What's a dial-up? Yeah, what's he talking why, why is he bonging? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we actually started as an online comic, uh, 2002. The series initially wrapped up in 2006. We were then picked up by Shadowline, which is Jim Valentino's imprint over at Image Comics. Uh, we re-ran the comic in syndication through them online, and then uh, took the series to print and like I said now we have three three graphic novels so uh, is there a place online where people could uh, find your work in case they're not able to come to an awesome place like you know free comic book oh, yeah, to see your work absolutely uh, you know uh, I'm on Facebook and Twitter they can look for this Dirk Manning guy right there I'm know, friends uh, with you yeah yes sir you honestly I'm not just plugging it you really need to follow this man and if you're lucky enough to get him to, to follow you back so many I have to share some of the, a lot of the stuff that I see on your page oh it, yeah this Thank is just an amusing <laughs> cat right here on the Facebook, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, so I, yeah, and it's cool. I always tell people, you know, if you want to be friends on Facebook, just shoot me a message, you know, it'll be cool. Um, but I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. People can check out the comics at shadowlineonline.com. Mm -hmm. uh, Nightmare World is on there. The whole series is on there for free. Our spin-off series, Tales of Mystery, mm -hmm. is online uh, at uh, Shadowline Online for free. We just finished that. And we're actually going to be starting a new series, uh, May 15th, called Love Stories About Death. Oh. So we got a brand new Ooh, series. All right. Right. Which is kind of like the Nightmare World sensibility, mm -hmm. but instead of eight-page stories, these are going to be full-length, 22-page stories, oh, wow. uh, all standalone, different mm -hmm. genres of horror. Some of the bigger stories. Uh, we have a, a zombie story, a pro wrestling story, and several other uh, very cool genres. These were the stories I wanted to tell Nightmare World, but were too big for eight pages. Right. And a lot of the Nightmare World artists are coming back. Um, 
that's going to be real cool. Again, that'll be at Shadowline Online as well. Now, speaking of things coming up, yes, sir. I know I talked to you earlier, but we I have to because I got a chance to see it. Yeah. Uh, you have a trailer. Yes. That's out right now. Yes. Uh, I, I can't even begin to do it justice. I got to let you explain oh. this one to me. <laughs> um, one of the stories in Nightmare World Volume One, which again, you know, people can pre-order again for June, things like that. Uh, we have a short film coming out based on one of the stories in this called Life in a Glass House. Uh, more of a science fiction-ish story. Um, people can go to YouTube, look up Life in a Gla Life in a Glass House film, or again, go to my Facebook, you know, facebook.com slash Dirk Manning. Uh, check it out. Uh, Austin McKinley, who illustrated the story, is also an accomplished filmmaker, and uh, he's doing the film. It's going to be a short film, and uh, it's... I wrote the story, and when I saw the trailer, it just it blew me away. Yeah, it's going to be real it's cool. fantastic. I think the first time I saw it was, I was on my phone killing time, and I mm -hmm. happened by your page, and I'm like, oh, what's this? And I clicked on it, and I watched it. It was fascinating. I'm like, this seems really familiar. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the Nightmare like, World story. story. Yeah, so, uh, and then I've also written a screenplay for Black Box TV, which is Tony Valenzuela and Anthony Zucker, uh, Anthony Zucker from CSI. He created CSI. Uh, they have their own horror channel now on YouTube called Black Box TV and uh, I wrote a screenplay for them called uh, that will be coming out here on YouTube uh, through Black Box very shortly. So it's busy, busy times. And we're going to have the Right or Wrong collection hopefully coming out by That's Christmas. That's right, you do a blog for uh, Newsarama. Yeah. Which I have read because I, I dabble in writing. I like to write. But you, some of your tips and hints. If you're an aspiring writer out there, you need to check out Newsarama, write W-R-I-T-E or wrong, and read this man's work. It was helpful and just brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, and that's the thing, too. So many people want to write comics or create comics, don't know where to start. And I was there, you know, and like I tell people through right or wrong, it's like, you know what, uh, I, I just started writing a column about telling people how I got started. I mean, Nightmare World, I've worked with over two dozen artists across the world. we picked up by Image Comics, Shadowline. Uh, I've had work published to Activate in other places, and uh, I just want to put out a book collection so that people can actually have it with them and reference it more often. So I'm going to put out a collection about a writer's guide to creating comics. Uh, and my hope is to have that out by Christmas time. So again, people can follow me on Twitter, drop me a, a, a message on Facebook, we'll, we'll connect that way and we can talk about everything. Cool. Well, we'll have all the information down here at the bottom of the screen. I'm just going to set my hand right there. Right there. Uh, you get a chance to check it out. Dirk has been... Dirk is one... I'm going to be honest with you. Complete level. I have run into Dirk in the past few years at right. cons here and there. Yeah. I've always wanted to talk to him. It's been one of those things where, oh, where'd he go? Or, ah, oh, we got to go. It, it was worth the wait. Thank you it, so much. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad we finally got to talk. Me too. Thank you.